also glad we're still coming up with crazy ideas like this. Apparently there's a plan to dam the North Sea. There's gonna be a 100 mile dam between Cornwall and Brittany and a 300 mile dam between Scotland and Norway. This is apparently to stop rising sea levels or something like that. It was made by a Dutch scientist out here and I love it. Many of you guys probably already know about the plan to dam off the Mediterranean Sea, which obviously would be infinitely easier. I mean, just that little sliver right there and you, and you get the whole thing locked off. That idea was devised by this German architect around uh, this time, I guess. Obviously, Germany was dealing with a, a lot. Plus, didn't we find out that it was going to be a terrible idea? Like, a lot of really horrible things would have happened, so it's probably a, a good thing that this didn't go down. I will never for the rest of my life be able to pronounce this thing right here, but this is the largest of 13 existing dams and storm surge barriers uh, designed to protect the Netherlands from flooding from the North Sea. It's supposed to protect millions from the rising oceans, but, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. This seems a little crazy. <laughs> First of all, why wouldn't we do, like, a dam from here? At least, like, Dover to here. Like, that seems a little easier. Estimated cost would be 250 to 500 billion euros, or uh, a merely 0.1% of the gross national product of all the countries that would be protected. Now, when you put it like that, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Maybe not that bad. The maximum depth of the North Sea between France and England is scarcely 100 meters. The average depth between Scotland and Norway is 127 meters. Wow, that's not that bad. The sea would eventually even become a freshwater lake. Uh, yeah, that would drastically change the ecosystem and stuff like that. Now, the scientists did admit how ridiculous the plan sounds or the drastic measures that might need to be taken, I guess. And man, that would affect a lot of countries. All the Nordic countries, the Baltics, Poland, Germany, even Russia because of this thing. Oh yeah, I forgot about those little islands. That might help a little bit because, you know, you could connect it, maybe make it a little bit, I don't know. But why don't we just dam off the Baltic Sea? That seems more feasible. I mean, since we're throwing out these ideas, I mean, what about the Yucatan to Cuba, Cuba to Florida? That'd be kind of cool. That seems actually less expensive. Now that I'm thinking about it, you could throw up dams everywhere. Actually, like, if we're cool with building 300 mile walls in the ocean, Ocean. We could do a whole lot with this earth. Here's a nice image reminding us Americans how terrible our public transit is. Uh, London, 90 minutes on their public transit would get you anywhere right here. 90 minutes in public transit in San Francisco, much less, obviously. Like, you're not even hitting really 45 miles. And you're definitely not going in any direction. But I don't know how fair this is, because I know that, like, San Francisco is really packed in tight. Yeah, but I'm sure London is too. I'd like to know what New York looks like. That would be wild. Actually, a bunch of these maps would be pretty cool. We gotta make it prettier, though. We gotta, like, do something with the colors. This is looking a little, you know, not as visually appealing as it could be. Europeans love their cheese. Spam. I had no idea that this many cheeses existed. Is that weird? I just know about cheddar. That's really all I know, for the most part. I've never even heard of most of this. Cheese is weird. Just looking at this map, I'm like, man, cheese is the strangest thing. And we throw that stuff on everything. Yeah, I had no idea this many types of cheeses existed. And the Scots are apparently eating rubber. All right. I love this so much. I feel like we've all been there. So I guess this dad came home, got any homework. Daughter's like, nah, what you gonna do? Have a map I'm working on. Just found this on her desk. I feel like this would be all of us if like for some reason we wake up tomorrow and like the internet and computers have all broken. Like we would just be these weird like freaks drawing maps. We still got to get our fix somehow. Is this girl like modding? I feel like she's modding. Some, like map games or something. We got patch notes, New Hampshire and Vermont. You've been combined into New Hampmont. Yeah, I'm okay with that. North Dakota and South Dakota have been combined into West Dakota. Yes. And that is because uh, Texas is a long boy now, along with a lot of other long boys. Chile's long boy and Florida is long boy. That's an interesting one. Normally I've seen it go around the Yucatan. This is going through this little river right here. I hope she colors this. This is amazing. I can't believe I'm so like amazed that like just some person draw like I'm like, I need to start doing this. Minnesota renamed to East Dakota. You have Ohio 2, which was a big thing. The Four Corners were, were, was replaced by Ohio 2. Why? Who the f*** cares? Yeah, I don't think America would like that, but uh, I'm okay with Long Boy. Let Long Boy exist. She is a believer that Wyoming probably doesn't exist, so that's cool. Yeah, I don't know if two Ohios is a good thing. I feel like one is enough, guys. What is up with Ohio? Ohio's either taking everything over or they're multiplying. Please, someone stop them. Oh yeah, someone pointed out that Canada has been invaded three times on this map by Idaho, Long Boy, Texas, Long Boy, Chile. They don't care. I mean, it's Canada. They don't, they don't mind. But for real, though, if you don't want this, something is wrong with you. And I'm saying this as a brand new citizen of Chile. I'm down to be Chilean. I'm chill enough. Ooh, Long Boy, Connecticut. Haven't seen that one before. The Ohio State University 2. Wow, this was actually by the official Ohio State Twitter account. I can't believe they're getting into this. This is inaccurate. This is no longer what it looks like. Thank you, kind sir. That's much better. I would just like to point out that I've been helping the claim that Chile should take the entire west coast of the Western Hemisphere. I have been uh, pushing this propaganda for quite some time. And yes, while we're at it, just give them all the coastlines. Here are 10 map projections and how they distort the world. Okay, I like this one. This one is a nice one. This one's a little 
little weirder. I don't like this one as much. 0%. Oh, man, I've not seen so many of these. Hey, that looks pretty good. Can't even tell what's like the normal one, what's not. Okay, yeah, it's not easy projecting a globe. I think we've all figured that out. Evolution of a rainforest. Uh, nothing really surprising here. It's just going away. Shocker. But here's forest cover in Africa. And this one is actually pretty nice. Super green. I always forget that there's like a little mini desert out here, like next to South Africa. Probably not mini. It's it's pretty massive, actually. Same thing here in North America. Dang, I had no idea. We got a lot of forests over here. I forget because I, I don't got any of that. South America is practically just one giant forest. Forest and mountain or something. That is pretty cool. Look at that. And they got a bridge too. Wow. This is a beautiful image. Satellite images are where it's at. Europe in 1840 with population. So this is right after the Napoleonic Wars. I'm wondering if it's gonna see well not right after i guess some time had gone by interesting to see like where all the population was it was all in russia okay that's not that crazy spain wasn't doing so hot 14 million population definitely hurts it seems a little obvious but the fact that austria has way more population than prussia but prussia gets a lot of glory or oh, they're about to merge with everyone pretty soon belgium's got more than the netherlands is that normal oh this looks like some like minecraft world does it not do you guys see that There's something freaky about this one a 3d wooden map of downtown chicago i made for a business there that is really impressive i really want more maps like this oh yeah it looks even better with like the wood right here it looks like waves are coming in this looks like it had to have taken like a lifetime pr pretty much just to get all these roads carved in north america about 77 million years ago i feel like we've seen this before but it still is like kind of weird it's weird this like was all gonna just come together it's gonna smash and make this pretty massive continent is that texas was texas an island how to say yes in europe yes oh ja 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 i could do that c c a lot of c's isn't no like mostly no the entire map most of the world map i thought is just no maybe not the world map okay but a lot of europe europe map by tweets each color representing a different language strangely everyone has their own languages that is so odd but no that's kind of cool they're winning this tweet ai battle norwegian americans by county in the year 2000 i had no idea there was that many norwegians around here that's kind of cool the vikings did end up taking over at least they took over this area global warming of the seas 1975 70 80 okay everything's just it's chilling at the two okay i mean the red blotches are starting to get bigger and bigger and now it's the 2000 now it's oh man okay this is a pretty informative little map dang all right then i don't know nothing about soccer but this is still pretty fascinating to me this is soccer right so what where do teams defend this is actually really informative i don't even watch soccer but what well, football sorry whatever you want to call it but uh i like like knowing their game plans i sat by a fire and recorded what people said oh this is gonna be sucky okay the blue is the male and then this other color is female. Comparison to other fires. Something about white rabbits. I don't know what that means. The fire is hot. That's said by 33 females. Anyone have hot dogs? Men and hot dogs. There's nothing quite like a fire. Too bad we don't have any marshmallows. It's like you have to cycle through the same statements. It's like this other thing I heard the other day. Like whenever you tell someone you're going to a community college, it's always, oh yeah, it's really, a f it's so much better financially. You have to have that conversation every time. I probably shouldn't do this, but I have mine turned on now. I, like I'm gonna, I want to do something like this. And mine's just going to be a little little red dot it doesn't move I, I don't move at all i was just having a conversation about like how dates taste like candy like they can they stop my what's that called again my sweet tooth my sweet tooth it's crazy and now we know this is why world population growth between 1700 and 2100 the year 2100 so it exploded obviously baby boom bam and then things kind of calmed down a little bit we calm it down we're not getting too freaky anymore two percent dang what was oh 1968 tallest building in each u.s state so obviously new york is just dominated right now illinois doing pretty good with that willis tower thanks for that bruce and then things get like a lot closer i just want to know who's at the bottom vermont vermont get it together Together. Dang, this is only at 100 feet. I kind of want to like do like a GoFundMe campaign and let's just build a tower just to beat this. It can't be that hard, right? <laughs> They're mostly offices. They're almost always offices. Oh, California got an office slash hotel. Wow, real fancy. I do too, man. I do too. This is half of Australia's population right here. These little dots. Australia's at like 40 million or 60 million population, but I've never seen it like projected this way. Earth without water. Man, seems like a nice place. Uh, really, it quenches my desire. No. <laughs> North American borders proposed by this count in conversation with John Jay near the end of the American Revolutionary. Uh, so it's just... Spain. Spain would have basically all of America. They'd kicked us out. To be given to Spain. Oh, that's nice. Here's a nice, beautiful map of Europe in the 11th century. You don't find a lot of, like, beauties. Usually they're very, like, complicated and weird to look at. I also really love this Instagram account. This is a map of Italy. Venice, Italy. That is beautiful. Man, it's jam-packed, though. Spanish speakers in the Americas. There's obviously a lot. It's actually interesting to see, like, it coming up to which U.S. states. Surprised to see that even Canada got 2%. That's pretty high up there. Like, you can barely see it, but hey, Spanish speakers back 
back in Europe. I just like that they included that, even if it is deformed. Oh, here's another one of these. So this was just a big conversation. But I don't know. I mean, you could throw up, like I said, you could we could build walls everywhere. Building walls, that's just what we're doing now as humans. So anyways, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about those uh the North Sea uh thing. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe we could drive from Norway to Scotland or uh, well, you can already do the UK to France, right? So that wouldn't really change much. Anyways, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you to the February patrons. Bob, Riley Adams, Mayonnaise Incorporated, Seth A, Tyler Beach, Vinny Chang, Pilovsky, Fallen Like Stalin, Birthday Daddy, Millatime, Sleeper 56, Alfonso M6, Pizza, Maxi G, Swiss Argo, Elijah Senpai, and LPC.